Hi there, it's a brief look at the uh, market stats for the areas of West Seattle and Burien. We didn't really get a chance to um, go over these uh, together, so I wanted to send a quick clip um, kind of just showing where the market's at. Uh, this is through year-end December um, 2019, so it's kind of an overview of, of how we left things at the end of the year. Um, obviously, market's trending upwards uh, currently and we'll do so through the spring. We do expect a price appreciation, price growth, um, three to five percent this year. So um, we'll see what the market bears. But currently we'll just take a look at how the year um, left off in uh, West Seattle. Here we have residential only, so this does not include any condos. Um, we're looking at a very low supply of inventory, 1.1 months of inventory um, at year end. And that just means if no new listings came on the market um, and every buyer stopped to buy something, uh, we would run out of houses to sell in 1.1 months. Um, so that's considered low, uh, meaning it's just still a seller's market. Uh, median closed sales price at the year end was 648. And again, that's all with Seattle. We'll switch over to the Burien graph, um, which also does show very low inventory, uh, 1.1 months of inventory, <clears throat> and median sale price in Burien, much more affordable, 502500 Switch back to West Seattle here. This is um, a graph geared mostly for sellers, but uh, it just shows... What's the seller's odds of closing um, an offer that they get in December? 81% of offers received by a seller did end up closing. 16% of offers did not close for some reason or another. Probably buyer couldn't get financing. Um, Burien graph will show the same um, trend here. 85% of offers uh, closed. 18% of offers taken in December did not close for some reason. So this is interesting graph. And... Um, I will switch over to the West Seattle one first. This just shows what the trends are on um, pricing. <clears throat> so December, 20% um, of West Seattle residents, um, again, excluding condos, but it does include townhomes uh, with no HOD. So 20% of the listings in December sold for above listing price with an average of five days on market. So um, sellers in December who uh, obtained that were able to achieve 3% uh, over listing price. So they listed a home, took multiple offers, got 3% on average, um, on median, I should say, over their listing price. Okay, 21% of sellers um, took an offer right at their listing price. That's two weeks average on market. <clears throat> Listing price is what they got. 17% of sellers took an offer below listing price after a month on the market, and the, on average, a buyer was able to negotiate 4% off the listing price. So they took an offer that was just 4% under the listing price. And then a huge portion of sellers in December, this is very common um, for December, and you can look back and see it's the same for 2018. Um, but a huge portion of sellers had to do a price reduction uh, before they were able to get an offer. And that was over a month on the market. Looks like. Um, uh, <clears throat> and so they uh, had to do a price reduction before they were able to get an offer. So um, looking over in Burien, it's about the same. 26% of sellers um, got an offer over the listing price. Buyers were bidding 2% over listing um, on median. 12% of sellers took an offer at the listing price. 14% <clears throat> of sellers took an offer below the listing price. And again, um, on median, it was 2% below. 48% uh, of sellers had to do a price reduction. Um, and they waited two and a half months to do that um, before they were able to obtain an offer. So it's a very interesting um, graph for December. I think that's pretty seasonal. Um, we will expect this to change as the spring market takes an effect. Um, we will see this dark blue uh, graph much larger. <clears throat> Switching over here to this graph, which will be the same for both West Seattle and 
um, the Berrien slides, it just shows seller's market is anything um, in this map that's orange. So this is definitely West Seattle and Berrien, both considered a seller's market. The only two markets considered balanced are Vashon Island and Mercer Island. Um, so it's a balanced market between seller and buyers. This is interesting, um, just sort of on average what mortgage payments are trending in the area. So West Seattle um, average mortgage payment in uh, end of the year is $3,753. So buyers are taking out on average. <clears throat> Go down to Berrien, it's $3,753. Um, $753. Hmm. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, this is all of King County. Yep, top graph is all of King County. Okay. <clears throat> this is just showing uh, average mortgage payments or mortgage interest rates between the two years. So um, current rate, very low, 3.7. It's actually gone down since December, um, but you can compare to 2018. Mortgage rates were at 4.65. Um, this is just a graph showing sales price to list price based on your market time. So under 15 days, 100% median goes down as time goes on. As the seller has to wait longer and longer than they get less and less of their listing price. It's pretty obvious. Um, okay, this is a very interesting graph and this is just going to show you know, a certain price range. So we're looking um, at this range right here. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is going to show um, peak market times throughout the year. So 2019, uh, January 2019, we had 19 closed sales. Bumping up in February, 26 closed sales. So these are offers that closed in February. The house was actually listed in January, got an offer in January. A closing occurs 30 days later. February. So um, very obvious that March numbers would be low due to the fact that we had a ton of snow in February. So not a lot of houses got listed um, and not a lot of houses took an offer. Um, therefore, not a lot of closings in March. Um, you can see this is going to peak up here as we get into the spring. 29 um, uh, listings in May, 28 June, 33 in July. And then we'll trend downwards for the summer, a little bit flatter. Um, we had a little bit of a bump up in November, uh, October, I recall, is decent weather. <clears throat> so we have some um, additional sales in November, trending downward in December. So that was for West Seattle. If we look at the um, Berrien chart, it should be similar. Obviously, there's much more inventory in this price range in Berrien, so you do see these numbers um, pretty much double what West Seattle is. <clears throat> 37, 34, 33, turning up. Huge bump up in inventory, um, therefore a huge bump up in sales, heading towards April, May, June. And then down a little for July and August, it's typical for the summers, summer months. A little bit better in uh, October and then November, December flat. And you can compare that to um, the year below 2018. This will just show year over year change uh, within this price range. So this is strictly um, January 2018 compared to January 2019, down 16% sales prices. Up 20% in June. <clears throat> so that's just month over month, year over year. We are still looking in Burien here. Median sales price um, Burien is uh, 502.500 ending in December 2019. That's a large jump up from December 2018. <clears throat> Monthly um, payment. On average, $2,330. Um, this shows condos. This graph at the bottom is again residential and condo combined. 
And this is interesting. If you want to look at historical data, you can scroll through. This is for Barry in 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016. Um, yep, so you can scroll through. Uh, all these are um, listings by month, how many went pending, month supply and inventory, how many closed, median sale price by month and then by year. <clears throat> Historical data goes all the way through, if you scroll down to the second page, um, all the way back to 2010, so it's 10 years worth of data. And that's for Berrien, the West Seattle chart, chart, excuse me, it will show the exact same, exact same data. <clears throat> Here we're looking at monthly payments on average at two thousand nine hundred eighty-three dollars per month. Close sales price, <clears throat> median and variant, and sorry, West Seattle is six forty-eight. And then here's the historical data. So you go 2019, 18, 17, 16, and then just scroll down all the way back to 2010 if you're curious to see. So um, I will email you these two charts. Uh, as well. If you're interested in stats, um, this is a great overview of kind of how we left the market. Um, obviously, we do expect trending upwards um, through the spring, so we'll be keeping an eye on these charts as they come out. These are published once a month. Um, it can certainly get you the updated charts. Um, it's usually first or second week of the month when the data comes out for the prior month. So, talking to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.